it's relevant, you know, since 2020. And uh, you've been doing it before that, but uh, Kwani's Benevolence signing on, uh, playing their role as well in helping you to do what you do best. Talk a bit about that. Yes, I want to say first a big thank you to Kawani's Benevolence. I'm the award president, Mr. Michael Blackman, who I have known for many years. And when he started the Kawani Benevolence, he remembered that we raised together and he wanted to partner with me, which he did for the last two years and he did it well. What, what do you think were some of the landmark achievements over the last two years, especially during the pandemic, you know? Coming out here, having to deal with protocols and, and dodging COVID-19 as well. Talk a bit about how these last two years have really gone. Well, this last two years was great, you know, there was lots of restrictions and stuff like that and being exposed to the COVID, but you know, I love these people so much. COVID didn't bother me at all. You know, I embraced these people as I did because I have great love for these people. Never one day I strayed away from them. You know, there were time back when there was alleged the persons that I had COVID, which and I, I asked God, I said, God, please never let me get COVID because what would these people do? And I had to be shut off for a couple of days, but thank God I was back on the run a couple of days after. Uh, talk to me about the numbers that you are seeing. Have you seen, seen, seen those numbers grown, growing over the past two years, between 2020 and now, in terms of the number of people that you are now feeding? Yes, as I was speaking to one of the Bevelance members, I was telling her that I started with at least 30 people and now I'm over 120 and every day more and more people are coming mm. for different reasons, different circumstances, you know. But I'm here and I thank to my sponsors who always provide that I can make this a reality. So we started working with Sharon and the Fishers of Charity back in December of 2020 when the Kiwanis Club of Barbados Benevolence got started. And at that time we started giving the liquid refreshments, we did the masks as well as sanitizer. We've done this project every single last Sunday of the month since then. And it's a project that we are very much committed to. We try to see how we can assist Sharon and I know we are transitioning into a new year and we've already looked at other um, projects that we can do to help support Sharon and this initiative. We believe that it is a very worthwhile initiative. Um, over the um, last year, we can say that we recognize that um, the in there's an increase in the demand for the service. We're seeing young men, young women, and they're, they're coming out and, and, and they're asking for stuff. We also recognize that even today, we know that we've list lifted the, the mass mandate, and I can say to you that today, majority of them came wearing a mask and also asking for masks so we recognize that what we are doing is still very much relevant and we have committed to continuing to support Sharon on this initiative.